Now, this is our first stereo anaglyph of the surface, and you can put the uh, red-blue glasses on now. Uh, it is our only stereo view, but we're expecting much better stereo images as the data are downlinked and returned to Earth. Now, if you don't have red-blue glasses, be patient. We're going to show alternative versions of this in just a few moments. Uh, the two images have resolutions of about 300 meters and 140 meters, respectively, and do not have a lot of stereo parallax. But they definitely reveal the basic shape of Ultima Thule, and they do indicate that uh, the prospects are very good for the planned stereo observations that we have coming down uh, in the weeks to come. Uh, now, uh, there are uh, alternative ways of looking at this uh, uh, view. You can see the basic round shape of the, uh, uh, of the two lobes and the narrow neck. We can also split these images into two side-by-side -side images. Uh, this is uh, suitable for viewing with ordinary stereo viewing glasses or by crossing your eyes, which may give you a headache if you're not too careful. This pair was actually put together by astrophysicist Dr. Brian May, who some of you may know as the lead guitarist for the band Queen. He is going to release this image uh, in the next few days on his website. Now, not everyone has stereo glasses or can view cross-eyed, so he put together this view, which blinks between the two images, and gives you a sense of not only the shape of the body, but of the rotation that uh, New Horizons is seeing on its approach. Now you see a bunch of things in this uh, view. You see how obviously how narrow the neck is uh, between the two bodies. Uh, you also get a sense, at least, that the bright material may be concentrated in topographic lows. And this may indicate downslope movement of material uh, from topographic highs such as ridges. And there's an indication that the dark uh, stripy materials that we see may actually be topographic ridges as well. So we can't really wait uh, to, to receive the, 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 the final images in order to determine whether this is, in fact, the, the proper interpretation. You may also notice along the upper right-hand margin that features appear to be rotating into view as the object twists underneath us. These have a knobby appearance and could be the inside of a large uh, impact crater that's on the far side. They could also be small accretionary lumps or something we haven't even thought of. This area, as I said, would be rotating more into view in the images that are going to be downlinked in the, in the weeks to come. We do need to be careful about interpreting images like this because these are basically equivalent to full moon images that we see from our Earth, where shadows and textures are washed out and we see albedo variations. Uh, so some of these markings could be ridges, but we won't know for sure until the subsequent images are uh, downloaded. We do expect to see much better views, uh, including stereo, of the neck region. And the very best images, Ultima Thule, should, in fact, basically fill the camera frame. So it should be very interesting indeed. <laughs>